What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I want to bring you a brand new video giving you my first impressions on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now that the first beta weekend is completely over, even after extended time and everybody who has a PS4 has gotten to play it, and I've reached level 25, 27, something like that, uh, I think that I can give you my first impressions with everything laid out on the table. As a quick summary, maybe a little preface to my entire video, because this is, this is going to be long, uh, I just want to say I'm very excited for Infinite Warfare, the game was pretty fun but I'm really, really scared that it's not going to have the longevity that the entire community wants, and it's only fun right now because it's new, uh, and that is, that's not a good sign. But anyway, I have a few notes on my phone of things, bullet points that I want to go over in the game, things that I notice in my opinions on some things that are good and some things that need some work. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the movement system. Now, you're probably watching some gameplay here, you know, around here or somewhere ever down here. It's my own gameplay. You've also probably seen a billion other videos on Infinite Warfare in the past week showing gameplay so you already know what the movement system is like but for those of you that have asked me it's like 90% similar to Black Ops 3 in my opinion I mean the thrusting is very similar it's all similar if you've played Black Ops 3 you're gonna be able to jump right into this and feel the same way that you did in Black Ops 3 the only difference is it feels a little bit different and it's hard to explain that uh, it definitely feels like a Infinity Ward game, like with, with the, the way the character moves, how much air you get when you do end up jumping, things like that. And I think the game, uh, because of the, the, the way that uh, you move, the game feels a little bit slower than Black Ops 3, which is totally cool with me. I've always been a proponent for slower Call of Duties. I feel like if it's slower, you have more time to plan out what you want to do, how to handle certain situations, where to go and hold down different places and things like that. Uh, and so I'm, I'm totally cool with it being slower and I think a lot of other people are interested in it being slower maybe not the pro scene but i'd say in general a lot of people uh, who just take the game casually are really into a slower call of duty at least only a little bit the next thing i want to talk about and this is a big deal for me is footsteps you you can't there's no footsteps you can't fucking hear it like if you play with a headset surround sound on really high you can hear your own footsteps a little bit uh, but there's absolutely no way that you're going to convince me that you can use enemy footsteps to your advantage it's just not possible there's been so many instances in the beta where I had get chased down for like a quarter of the map before getting killed from the back you just can't hear them there's no way and it really really bothers me because footsteps in my opinion is something that separates good players from bad players uh, you can even hear footsteps without a super expensive uh, headset so it's not even like it's pay to win uh, you know just the ability to know to listen for footsteps is something that is you know just a minor detail that'll separate a good player from a bad player and the fact that they have pretty much removed that entirely makes no sense to me uh, and the fact that you can actually see dead silence is a perk in the game like what the fuck is the point of that when there's not even footsteps to silence so I don't know what the deal is with footsteps. A lot of times when a new COD drops, they have to go in and patch footsteps because they never get it right, right, right out of the gate. And I'm assuming that's what's happening here. Otherwise, this is going to be a really bad year. Uh, for people who try to look for advantages through sound use. Sniping is a big issue. I've tweeted about this already. The sniper in this game, the first one that you start with, super, super good, very effective. The only problem is that it's too easy to use. I mean, the, the sniping with that sniper in this game feels somewhat like Modern Warfare 2 to me personally. I haven't really sniped at all since like Black Ops 2, um, but back in Modern Warfare 2, that's when I sniped the most. I think a lot, a lot of that's true for most of you guys um, who are old enough to have played that. But yeah, the sniping is really, really fun. It's satisfying. You get the one-shot kills, few hit markers, everything like that. But I think the aim assist is just a little bit too high on sniper rifles. I mean. Sometimes, you know, if you see somebody, you know, the, the sniper has a little blue light on the front, uh, and if you come around a corner and you see that blue light, you know, I almost immediately know I'm going to die, and that's kind of bullshit, because it doesn't even give you the chance to get into a gunfight, so I don't know. I don't want them to nerf snipers, because it, like, we haven't had good sniping in fucking forever, but at the same time, uh, it does get annoying when everybody in the game is using a sniper, and you can't even get into a legitimate gunfight. So I think there needs to be something done there, but if I'm I'm just gonna put this out there, they're probably gonna nerf it and it's gonna be shit after that, and then everyone's gonna complain. So I don't even have the answer for this. All I know is they 
they are like 90% there. They just gotta fix that one issue where it's just too easy to snipe. I don't know. I don't know what the deal with that is, but literally anybody who picks up a fucking sniper in this game is like phase status, so I don't know. They, they gotta do something about it, but overall I'd say the sniping is really fun and I'm looking forward to a game where I can actually use a sniper rifle, because like... Holy shit, that's awesome. Another thing that I found is the time to kill is really fast in this game. You can absolutely melt people in fractions of a second. Uh, and in that scenario, you're never going to win a 2v1 when the, both players are like even sort of looking at you. And, you know, I'm obviously you're there's I'm going to be proven wrong. There's, you know, even I've gotten I've gotten 2v1s. I've done 2v1s in the beta. I'm just saying like 95% of 2v1s are, you're going to lose just because you kill so fast in this game that even if you get the first shot off even if you pre-fire even if everything goes your way just two sets of bullets coming at you at the same time is you're just almost never gonna win that uh and that's really annoying that's like really i don't know maybe it's because i'm used to black ops 3 uh and there's tons of times in black ops 3 where if you're good with movement uh, and your shots are on point you can take a 2v1 um not consistently but it's worth a shot uh because that you know the odds are there that you could do it in this game it's like if i see a 2v1 i just try not to even engage because i already know that there's almost no chance of me winning it so that's really annoying especially because the maps are really small people move pretty fast and you're going to encounter more than one person if you're continually being mobile so I don't know it kind of uh, feels cheesy that you can be on a kill streak and then you know you go over t across the map where they all spawned in and even if they're not good players you can't win a 2v1 so I don't know it's a uh, it's a little bit annoying but that could be something that I just have to adapt to with my own playstyle but it's definitely something that stood out for me throughout the beta uh, like I just said I want to go over this a little bit the time to kill feels really fast but also kind of inconsistent some guns just don't have a fast time to kill and then other ones just absolutely melt people so I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. Maybe some guns just have higher recoil and more of the bullets just miss. I don't know. Um, but, you know, some guns are clearly superior than other guns. Um, there's probably going to be some day one, uh, you know, patches that are going to balance the weapons a little bit from the beta. But it's just definitely frustrating to see that some guns just kill instantaneously. Uh, and then you go and try and use a different gun just because you're trying out all the guns. And that gun just can't, you just cannot win a gunfight. And it's like... How is there that big of a difference in time to kill? It's really frustrating. Um, so that's definitely something they're gonna have to figure out. But I do like fast time to kill games. I think that's. I think if, if all the guns have a decent time to kill, then it's it's fun that way because you don't end up putting five bullets in someone only to have them run around the corner, which is something that happened to me a lot in Black Ops Three. Variants are back. I know. I know. R.I.P. It's 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 the worst it sucks and i think the reason that they put bar variants back in is because not enough people were buying supply drops in black ops 3 compared to advanced warfare in advanced warfare you had a really good reason to buy advanced supply drops because you had the chance of getting the obsidian steed or like any of the royalty guns or whatever those guns were really good and if you got one of them you had an advantage no matter how slightly uh, against your competition so it made a lot of sense for you to buy advanced supply drops hoping you will get one of those guns to get the advantage uh, and they took that away in Black Ops 3 which was awesome because then you didn't have to buy supply drops if you didn't care about the different melee weapons or the different uh, skins or whatever you know so they probably brought them back because it will increase sales of supply drops and that's fucking awful I hate that the good news is that you can get some variants using uh, certain points that you can get through free supply drops and through I guess challenges and some other stuff so there's that so you can work your way up to elite and legendary weapons for free uh, but it will be very grindy so we'll see how that balances out um, obviously they're probably going to put in more variants that you can only get through supply drops and then it'll be even more frustrating for people who don't want to gamble um, but you know what can you do another thing I want to talk about is kill streaks the kill streaks in this game they're so dumb I just there's nothing in there's no really cool kill streaks in this game there's no like chopper gunner there's no like really awesome pavlo motherfucker they're just where's the eight like the ac 130 isn't a thing that hasn't been a thing in forever and that was like the best kill streak i don't know there's just uh not that many fun kill streaks in this game you know like the lodestar that shit was amazing where are those kill streaks what happened to those kill streaks how come we don't have those anymore uh what the fuck 
Modern Warfare 2 was my favorite Call of Duty, and that's because if you did well enough and you got your hair or your chopper gunner, you could just fucking mow down motherfuckers flying around the map like the most badass piece of shit. Uh, and it was an um, it was amazing. And yes, of course, if you join a game and you immediately die 15 times to a chopper gunner, it sucks. But being on the other side of the coin was like such an adrenaline rush that I've never gotten from Call of Duty since then. So where where are those awesome kill streaks? That's what separated Call of Duty from Battlefield, in my opinion, is that you had awesome kill streaks that weren't that hard to get, uh, and they were just super super powerful. What happened to those? I can understand taking them out for competitive or whatever certain uh, certain game types or, or something like that, but they need to come back i just i've been waiting so many years like ghosts had shitty ones advanced warfare like what the fuck they had system hack and uav nothing else even mattered in that game uh black ops 3 the kill streaks were not that good i mean yeah i don't know they just I, they didn't do it for me i mean black ops 2 had good ones uh modern warfare 3 had good ones what else what else am i missing um yeah i mean it's just they haven't had good kill streaks in so long and you know even in black ops 2 they the kill streaks were on the d clan i'd say i mean getting a swarm was fucking awesome but just in general like the past like three years we've just had garbage kill streaks and it's like guys you can literally just put the ones from modern warfare 2 and you don't have to do any special creative thinking or anything just fucking rename it reskin it and throw it in the game and i will fucking play the shit out of it if you give me another chopper gunner please holy fuck why is that so hard to understand that shit was amazing and finally the last thing i want to say is i think a lot of this game is going to have to do with how well they support it through patch updates and by that I mean in Black Ops 3 I was addicted to that game for like the first two three months it came out I got dark matter I got the new doubt challenge I just did everything I could in that game and I finally did recently hit level 100 master prestige I know that's not the highest level in the world but it's level cap I basically hit level cap I mean yeah you can go to a thousand but that's like fucking ridiculous um, and I have other things to do and the game's not good but anyway the game was amazing when I first started playing it is my point and then after every consecutive patch the guns got weaker and weaker and the recoil got worse and worse and all, all of a sudden you get a million hit markers and the game just fucking sucked by the end that's my opinion I know a lot of people you know disagree with that but the game that I played when Black Ops 3 dropped and the game that I can pop in my PS4 right now are totally different experiences uh, and I really really don't like what they did to Black Ops 3 over the course of its lifespan as far as patches go it just wasn't satisfying to me at the end the game felt different the game felt slow the game felt boring um, and it just I don't know there it just wasn't doing it for me it felt like the game was just so see this is gonna sound dumb but it felt so balanced that it didn't matter what you used everything was only okay some guns were obviously better than others but so marginally that it just i don't know something about it this the way that they supported the game basically it, it wasn't fun for me what i would have them rather do you know when the vesper was overpowered i would have rather them buff the other weapons to match the vesper rather than nerf the vesper if you understand that way the gun the game the gun stays the same so i can keep using my favorite gun and then everything else becomes good so you can try other things and try different combos instead you nerf the vesper so now you the vesper is shit and all the other guns are kind of shit too so you just have a bunch of shitty fucking guns to use and it's like okay this game's not that fun now but anyway, that's the point, you know, hopefully they support this game uh, in a way that, that can keep it fun, can keep it fast paced, uh, and keep it something that people want to keep playing, uh, and that's a huge, huge portion of whether or not I think this game is going to be good throughout the year. Overall, the game didn't blow me away, I'm going to be completely honest with you. It felt uh, like the, the uh, Infinity Ward cousin of Black Ops 3, I mean the movement system was, was you know, good, I mean it's fluid and everything, but uh, there was nothing new with this game. This game is just a reskinned Black Ops 3 uh, with like energy weapons and you know, all this other stuff. So I mean, yeah, it's, it's cool, um, I'm excited for it, obviously I'm still gonna buy it and everything, but I did joke with my friends like, wow, this is, I should fucking cancel my pre-order because I was just getting tired of, you know, the, uh, the spawn systems and, you know, the snipers just instant deathing you no matter what, as soon as you turn a corner, you just instant death. So, you know, there's definitely some rage quitting that was done by not just me, but a ton of people that I know during this first beta weekend. Uh, and that's not a good sign because that only means that the game is only fun right now because it's new and refreshing and two months down the line, people are going to be like, okay, this is the same shit we had back in Black Ops 3. Uh, I'm getting bored of this, this game is bullshit, what the fuck. So for everybody out there who's saying, oh my god, Infinite Warfare is fucking amazing, Infinite Warfare is so good, just think, 
is it still going to be good in two months or are you just hyped for the game because there's it's to, there's two totally different things a good game and a game that's really well really well hyped up totally different things you know uh and i would i would hate to follow that hype train and tell you guys that it's an amazing game uh only to have it be shit in two months from now so i'm not gonna say that i'm not gonna be like go out and buy infinite warfare it's so good uh it's a call of duty game and i had a decent amount of fun with it but do i think that it's going to you know um make cod great again no definitely not at least not from what i've seen unless like i said they support the game really well they incorporate footsteps and they you know they balance the guns and they figure out a way to you know maybe make kill streaks more fun to use and things like that so you know we'll see going forward how they support it but overall i mean the beta i would give it like a 7 out of 10 honestly um like i said I, it's like a little bit above average you know it's it was fun um, but they have a lot of work to do as far as patching goes in order to make the game fun in the long run and not just a hype, a hyped up, uh, version of Black Ops 3 or whatever. Anyway, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I would love if you could smack a like on it. That would really, really help out my channel a ton, probably more than you know. Uh, drop a comment down below telling me what you think of the Infinite Warfare beta and also what's your experience with snipers. I would love to hear that from you guys. If you're new around here, obviously subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing a lot more Infinite Warfare as well as Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay once that drops. So definitely subscribe if you're new around here. And I'm really excited to see you guys down in the comment section. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Omniarch, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.